Mark Macbeth does murder sweep. Why, worthy Thane, you do unbend your noble strength to think so brain of you think. Go get some water and wash this filthy witness from your hand. Why did you bring the daggers from the place? They must lie there. Go carry, the, go carry them and smear the sleepy grooms with blood. I will not go back. Look on it again. I dare not. In form of purpose, give me the daggers. The sleeping and the dead are but his pictures. Tis the eye of childhood that fears a painted devil. I'll gild the faces of the guards, for it will seem their guilt. Whence is that knocking? What hands are these? Will all great Neptune's oceans wash these hands clean of the blood? My hands are of your color, but I shame to wear a heart so white. I hear a knocking. A little water clears us of this deed. Hark, more knocking. Retire we to our chamber. Be not lost so poorly in your thoughts. To know my deed, for best not to know myself. Wake Duncan with thou knocking. I would vote could. Phew. End of act one. I'd say it's time for some comic relief. <laughs> we'll have some if the porter shows up. Porter! Where's the porter? <laughs> Looks like we have some time for explanatory notes. The porter is the comic relief in the play. I thought you were. Very funny. Comic relief is used to lighten things up after a drug and takes your justice. It's a wonderful comic decision. But I don't think the porter's very funny. The, port, the humor in the porter's lines can be lost on modern day theater goers because it refers to mostly current events and people. In Shakespeare's time, everyone, including the groundlings, would have understood that the equivocator the porter speaks of is about a certain Jesuit priest who is involved in a plot to blow up Parliament. Where in the name of Beazel Bub is that porter? Porter! Anybody seen the porter? Ah, uh, the groundlings. I always wanted to be a groundling. This was a scene 400 years ago in the Globe Theater. Poor folk of London would pay a penny, a whole day's wage, to stand in front of the stage. Tanners, butchers, sailors, and servants, all shoulder to shoulder, sharing some fruit and nuts and a bag of sack now and then. It was called the pit. It was full of mud, muck, discarded food, and who knows what else. The groundlings were loud and unruly, often shouting at the actors. They were also known as the stinkers. Romantic, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, oh, sorry. I missed my cue. Don't worry. Right Don't worry about it. Just start your mono. I need my knocking cue. Your cue is passed. Just go. I need my knocking to get into character. <laughs> yeah. Knock, knock. Who's there? Move it! <laughs> Here's a knocking indeed. If a man were porter of Hellgate, he'd have all turning the key. Knock, knock. <laughs> Who's there of the name of Beelzebub? Here's a farmer who hangs himself on the expectations of plenty. Come in time and have napkins enough for you. Here you'll sweat for it. Because hell is hot. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Shakespeare invent the knock-knock tune? <laughs> <laughs> Here's an equivocator that could swear in both scale against either scale, who committed treason enough for God's sake, yet could not equivocate into heaven. Oh, come in, equivocator. Knock-knock, <laughs> who's there? Shakespeare did invent the knock-knock <laughs> Hey, Cisco and Ebert, can you shut up for a second? <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I quiet, I'll double quarter it no further. I pray you, remember the porter. <laughs> Was it so late, friend, ere you went to bed, that you do lie so late? We were carousing. And drink, my lady, is a great provoker of three things. What three things does drink provoke? Mary, sir. Nose painting. Sleep. 
and urine. That's <laughs> it provokes the desire, but takes away the performance. <laughs> Therefore, much drink may be said to be in a cruzicator. We get the picture. It makes him and it mars him. It sets him on and it takes him off. <laughs> the lady who said not. Is my master stirring? Here he comes. Good morrow. Good morrow, good sir. Is the king stirring yet? Not yet. He did call us, command us to call Tommy on him. Oh, I'll bring you to him. Here's the door. Tell us the king is today. He does. The night has been unruly. Our chimneys were blown down. And you know what I heard? What was it? What did you hear? Tell me now, please. Lament things. Strange screams of death in the air. Some say the earth was feverish and didn't shake. It was a rough night. Horror! Horror! Tongue nor heart cannot conceive nor name thee. 